Hello, hello, good evening. Hello. Hello, Flor. Hello, Xiomara. Hello, Alfredo. Abigail, good evening. How are you tonight? Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you tonight? Are you ready for the class? Can you say, yes, I am. No, I am not. Are you ready for continuing learning tonight? In yesterday's class, we were learning about frequency phrases and also frequency adverbs, right? So do you remember some of the frequency phrases that we studied yesterday? Hello, can you listen to me? Hello, hello, me pueden escuchar. Eh, me confirma si me pueden escuchar, por favor. Can you listen to me? La única que hay un poquito de transparencia porque está lloviendo por aquí, donde yo estoy. Ah, ok, y los demás me escuchan bien. ¿Me confirman, por favor, si me escuchan sin ningún problema? Sí, se escucha, teacher. Ah, ok, thank you, Abigail. So, let's start with tonight's class, right? So, I was telling you that yesterday we started studying the frequency adverb and also some frequency phrases. For example, every day, uh, every week, every month, and also every year. And also we study the frequency adverb, which were uh, usually, always, sometimes, often, never, and hardly ever, right? And we studied two questions yesterday. And the first one was, how often do you? How often do you iron clothes? ¿Con qué frecuencia plancha ropa usted? How often do you iron the clothes? <laughs> Eh, veamos, Ana Gabriela, how often do you swim? Swim, how often do you swim? ¿Con qué frecuencia va a nadar o nada? Okay, I usually swim. I usually swim. Swim. Very good job. Let's see, Flora, how often do you go shopping? Um, uh, uh, usually. I usually go shopping. Usually. That is great. Uh, Xiomara, how often do you cook? Hola, mamá. Hola, mamá. Xiomara, how often do you cook? If no, Abigail Ortiz, how often do you play soccer, Abigail? I usually play soccer. Oh, that is excellent. And Maria, how often do you go to the beach? Hello, teacher. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class. How often do you go to the beach, Maria? La, me está preguntando cuando voy a la playa, ¿verdad? ¿Con qué frecuencia va a la playa? Ay, yo casi nunca voy. Ah, entonces, ¿cuál es el adverbio para decir casi nunca? ¿Le ayudamos yeah. a María, please? Yeah. Ah, ok. Hardly ever is, right? I hardly ever go to the beach. That's great, Ay. right? Perdón, vuelvo a decir, María, la quiero repetir. I hardly ever go to the beach. I hardly ever over the beach. The beach. Go, go to. I hardly ever go to the beach. This is sentence. Early go to the beach. No, faltó ever. I hardly ever go to the beach. I hardly ever go to the beach. Excellent. Now that was perfect. Thank you. And Alfredo, how often do you play volleyball, Alfredo? 
um, I have never, I mean, I never uh, play volleyball. You never play volleyball. Okay, excellent. Um, then that was just a big class. So let's see, let's practice. Let me share with you the screen and we're going to practice in it. Let me help you to solve the following exercises, please. Okay, over here. Uh, did anyone complete this exercise? Did anyone have already complete this? Let me see, this is the 1.4. This is the first exercise on the platform. So the instruction, read the following from just the responding which the output in brackets is placed correctly. So yesterday we studied the place of the address, right? And we learned that uh, sometimes has three positions in a sentence, at the beginning of the sentence, after the subject, and also at the end of the sentence. And the rest of the frequency adverbs are after the, before the verb, right? Están antes del verbo. Okay, so let's see this one. Do you play a sport? ¿Dónde debe de ir la palabra ever? What is the right sentence in this? Can you help me to solve it, please? Do you ever play sports? Ever you play sports or do you play sport ever? The first one. The first one, the first one is the right. Yeah, let's choose the first. You say the first. Sure, I play soccer. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class. So sure, I play soccer. Y tengo la expresión twice a week. I have this expression here. Dos veces en una semana. So what is the right place for this expression? Is it sure I twice a week play soccer? Twice a week, sure I play soccer. Sure I play soccer twice a week. What is the right um, place? This there? Sure I play soccer twice a week. Okay, let's check it. Then I have, what do you do on Saturday morning? And I have the frequency average usually there. What is the right position of usually in this question? What do you usually do on Saturday morning? What do you do on Saturday usually morning? What do you usually do on Saturday morning? Anybody wants to try? Uh, first. The first one? The first one? Okay, let's see the first one. And, and nothing much. I sleep until noon. And I have almost always. I have this expression, almost always. And I have the three options. Nothing much. I sleep until noon, almost always. Nothing much. I almost always sleep until noon. Nothing much. I sleep until almost always noon. So what is it? The second sentence. Tell me when. Let's try it. No problem if we make a mistake. Uh, the second. The second. Okay, let's do the second. You say the second. Do you do it all with the gym? And I have the frequency after often. Then how often do you do aerobics at the gym? Do you often do aerobics at the gym? Do often you do aerobics at the gym? Do you often do aerobics at the gym? Ah, then you see the second function. Very good, let's choose this one. Then, no, I do aerobics and I have hardly ever. And I have the three options again. No, I do hardly ever aerobics. No, hardly ever I do aerobics. No, I hardly ever do aerobics. Number three. No, I, I, hardly, I hardly ever do aerobics. Okay, let's choose number three. And the next one, this is seven. Do you exercise on Sundays? And I have always there. Do you always exercise on Sundays? Then you say the first one, do you always exercise on Sundays? And I have A, exercise A. No, I exercise on Sunday. And I have never, the frequency adverb, never. 
and I have the option. No, I exercise on Sunday, never. No, I never exercise on Sundays. No, I exercise never on Sundays. Number two. No, Thanks. I never exercise on Sunday. Thank you so much. Let's see number nine. We're almost to finish this exercise. What do you do after class? Can I have usually there? What do you usually do after class? What do you do after class usually? What do you usually do, do after class? What do you do usually do after class? Okay, you say the first one there. Number 10, and this is the last one. I go out with my classmate about three times a week. That is the expression in parentheses there. So I about three times a week go out with my classmate. About three times a week I go out with my classmate. I go out with my classmate about three times a week. I go out with my classmate of three times a week. Okay, then let's click on send. And yes, right, all of your answers were right. That is great. So you have 50 points of 50 points. Congratulations. You did a very good job in this exercise. Thank you. Thank you so much. So this was the first exercise, right? About yesterday class. Do you have any question about this topic? Um, don't forget, no. right? that in this platform, you can change your progress. So you can click here on progress and you are going to see what is your progress in every of the section in this platform. So as you can see, we have solved the homework one and now we have cured our grades, right? You can check here your progress. And also you can download your helping material in this part, Manual del Participante. You click on here and you are going to find the material for this course. Is this one you can download it and you can print it if you want and you can solve the exercise here for you to practice more. Okay, if you don't have any other question, no question about yesterday topic. No. No. Okay, that is great. So let's continue with tonight class. Teacher. Ahorita no puedo encender la cámara porque está lloviendo y si la enciendo se me distorsiona la señal. Ok, no problem. Don't worry about that. I understand. Thank you. This is the topic for tonight's class. We are going to study equation with how in short answers. So how, what is the meaning of this um, WH word equation? How? What's the meaning of this word in Spanish? How? Es como. Okay, excellent. It means como, right? Como. So tonight we're going to learn this uh, four equation. How often? how long, how good, and how well. So this is the lesson objective for tonight. By the end of this session, you will learn how to ask and answer questions using how. But before that, let's have a review of the last class. Do you ever play volleyball? Any volunteer to answer this question? Do you ever play volleyball? Using frequency adverbs, tell me a sentence. You say, yes, I always play volleyball. No, I never play volleyball. I usually play volleyball. I sometimes play volleyball. I hardly ever play volleyball. Any volunteer to answer the question? Ever? Complete sentence, ever. please. I never play volleyball. I ever play volleyball. Thank you so much. Excellent. Let's see, do you ever play chess? Ajedrez. ¿Alguna vez juega ajedrez? Do you ever play chess? I don't know. No, I never play chess. I know. Excellent. That is a good sentence. No, I never play chess. Do you usually work on weekends?
Do you usually work on weekends? Then you say, no, I don't usually work on weekends. Or yes, I usually work on weekends. Any volunteer to answer the question? Do you usually work on weekends? Maria Magdalena, do you usually work on weekends? No, I never work on weekends. Thank you so much. Do you always watch the news? Flor Ramos, do you always watch the news? Mm, do you um, usually? Usually, okay. I usually watch, watch the news. Me dice, no, I usually watch the news. No siempre, ¿verdad? usualmente, algunas veces nada más. No, I usually watch the news. Thank you. Let's see, how often do you watch your car? Now, expression of frequency every day, twice a week, once a month, once a year, or oh, never, I never watch my car. So how often do you watch your car? I never watch my car. Okay, I never watch okay. my car. You see, <laughs> how often do you do yoga? How often do you do yoga? I never do do, do yoga. Okay, and how often do you buy shoes? You say, I buy shoes five times a month. Hardly ever do you buy shoes. I hardly ever buy shoes. I uh, hardly ever. Yes, I hardly buy, ever buy shoes. Buy. Okay, buy. excellent. Very good. And the last one, how often do you speak in English with somebody? How often do you speak in English? How often do you practice your English with another person? I usually speak okay. English. I usually speak in English. Very good answer. Thank you for your answer in this part. So this is the, this is the grammar focus for today, for today, right? A question with how and short answer. And I have this for question. How often do you work out? How long do you spend at the gym? How well do you play tennis? How good are you at sports? Now, how often is con qué frecuencia? How long is un periodo de tiempo? ¿Cuánto tiempo usted? How long do you spend at the gym? ¿Cuánto tiempo pasa ejercitándose en el gimnasio? Right? You say, todos los días, teacher, dos horas todos los días. And then you say, pretty, uh, sorry, how well, how well, que tan bien, ¿verdad? Usted juega tenis. Que tan bien, ¿verdad? And how good, que tan bueno eres en los deportes. How good are you at the sport? That is the meaning of this four equation. So how often, con que frecuencia, how low, por cuánto tiempo. How well, que tan bien. And how good, que tan buen eres. How good are you? So now let's listen to this example. Oh, sorry. Can you listen? Okay, I guess now you are going to listen. Questions with how. Short answers. How often? Can you listen to the audio very well? Pueden escuchar el audio? Every day. Questions with yeah. how. Short answers. How often do you work out? Every day. Twice a week. Not very often. How long do you spend at the gym? 30 minutes a day. Two hours a week. About an hour on weekends. How well do you play tennis? Pretty well. About average. Not very well. 
How good are you at sports? Pretty good. Okay. Not so good. Okay, now how often do you work out? Let's start with Aida Marisol. How often do you work out? Twice a week. I I do you work twice a week. I work out twice a week. I work out Teacher. twice a week. Yes? Teacher, one question. Esta sería la estructura para siempre las preguntas. Va a ir el, el adverbio de frecuencia, el verbo y luego el sujeto para hacer la pregunta. ¿O va a cambiar en algún momento? No, esas preguntas así son. ¿verdad? Ya así es, son esa es la estructura. Yes, así están establecidas. Así que se Ah, yes. How often do you? Solo cambiamos la actividad. How often do you oh, cook? Okay. So, How often do you dance? How often do you sing? How often do you work? On weekends. Okay. Solo vamos cambiando la actividad. De okay. la estructura va a ser la misma. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. So, let's see. How often do you work out? Uh, Ana Gabriela, how often do you work out? ¿Con qué frecuencia se ejercita? Oh, ok, let's use another volunteer then. Um, Abigail Ortiz, how often do you work out? Twice a week. Twice a week, ok, excellent. Um, Kevin Eduardo, how often do you work out, Kevin? I work in out twice a week. Twice a week. I work out twice a week. Excellent. Um, let's see. Uh, Alfredo, how often do you work out? Alfredo Ramirez, how often do you work out? Every day, twice a week, and not very often. Alfredo, Alfredo, are you there, Alfredo? Well, he must be busy right, right now. So let's go to the other questions. How long do you spend at the gym? But before to answer, okay, Alfredo, I understand. Don't worry. Before to answer this question, um, how long do you spend at the gym? Do you go to the gym? Who in this class goes to the gym? ¿Quién en la clase va al gimnasio? Nobody. Nobody goes to the gym? Ah, okay, well, when you start going to the gym, right, well, how long do you spend at the gym? Then we are going to talk a um, period of time, right? That is what we need to answer this. 30 minutes a day, two hours a week, about an hour on weekends. So how long do you spend watching your cell phone? How long do you spend watching your cell phone every day? ¿Por cuánto tiempo me utiliza su celular? ¿Ve su celular cada día? Can you say one hour, two hours, uh, 30 minutes, about an hour on weekends? So how long do you spend? 30 minutes a day. 30 minutes a day. Okay. Any other answer? How long do you spend watching your smartphone? Any other answer? Ah, qué bueno, no ocupan mucho su teléfono. That is great. And then let's go with the next question. How well do you play tennis? How well do you play tennis? And you say pretty well. About average? No, very well. Those are the possible answers for this one, right? Que también hace una actividad usted. How well do you play tennis? How well, how well do you play soccer? How well do you how well do you cook? How well do you swim? And then you say pretty well, about average, no, very well. Maria Martinez, how well do you play tennis? 
Oh, you can say, I don't play tennis. Yo no juego tennis. Or I never play tennis. You can say that sentence is good. Then let's go with the last one. How good are you at the sports? The possible answer are pretty good. Okay, not so good. So let me just volunteer. Maria Magdalena, how good are you at the sports? I'm not so good. You are not so good. Okay. Uh, Flor Ramos, how good are you at the sports? Pretty good. Not so good. Not so good too. Abigail Ortiz, how good are you at the sports? Not so good. Not so good too. Uh, let's see. Joanna, Maria, how good are you at sports? I'm not so good. I'm not so good. Okay. Um, I can see that you don't like sports. Uh, Aida Marisol, how good are you at the sports? Very good. Very good. Okay, nice. Uh, Kevin Eduardo, how good are you at sports? Um, I am pretty good. Pretty good. That is excellent. What is your favorite sport, Kevin? Uh, the first uh, is basketball. The second is uh, running or room. Correct? Yeah, um, running, running is correct. Oh, okay, okay. Um, the 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 two the 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 twist is is correct, right? The third, yes, the third. Uh, the third is um uh a swing. Swim, okay, excellent. That's nice. So basketball, running or jogging, and swimming. Great. So I can see that you are pretty good at the sports. That is great. So if you are not good at the sport, um, in which activity are you good? In qué actividades son buenas? Y buenos. Playing cards, jugando cartas, solving puzzles, resolviendo crucigramas, playing Jenga, Playing Uno, are you good at those things? Cooking, ah, probablemente son buenas cocinando, ¿no? excepto Aida, ayer dijo que no le gustaba cocinar. She said, I don't like to cook, she said. <laughs> then, let's continue with this then. Look at this conversation. I am a real fitness freak. Um, are you freaking something? Look at this boy, he is a freak about fitness, right? Uh, freaks means he's muy apasionado. He le gusta mucho, that is not informed. I am a real fitness freak. Um, hay algo que le apasiona a usted? The music, the sports, reading, reading a book. So this person really likes to do exercise. So look at this, let's listen and read this conversation. I'm a real fitness freak. You're in great shape, Keith. Thanks, I guess I'm a real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Uh, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. New vocabulary in this small conversation. Any new work? Then let me ask you, what is the meaning of shape? You're in gray shape. What is the meaning of this sentence? A good condition. Oh, that is great. Yes, right. A uh, good body condition. Uh, thanks. I guess I'm real fitness free. I guess. What's the meaning of this phrase? I guess.
एनी बार यहां से नहीं किया मीनिंग Suena muy divertida. Yes, right. That is right. Uh, oh, do you want to play sometimes? Uh, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Creo que muy bien. Oh, well, all right. But I'm not very good. No problem. I give you a few tips. Tips. What's the meaning of tips? Recommendations. Okay, yes, you're right. So recommendation, right? So advice is on how to play very well. Thank you so much. So let's listen again and pay attention to the pronunciation and also the intonation of the questions and every word. And then we are going to practice. I'm a real fitness freak. You're in great shape, Keith. Thanks. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week, and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Uh, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. Okay, now I need two little tips to practice in this small conversation. Good and cake. Who wants? Who wants to practice tonight? Any brave person in the group who wants to try this conversation? If no volunteers, I'm going to pick somebody. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Llego hasta mil, verdad? Let's choose then. Let's choose um, Ana Gabriela and Abigail Ortiz. Can you help me, please? So Abigail, you are Ruth, and Anna, you are Kate at this time. Okay. Let's do okay. it. You're in great shape, Kate. Thanks. I guess I, I'm a really fitness queen. We, How often do you work up? Well, I do aerobics twice a week, and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Oh, how well do you play? Pretty really well, I guess. Well, I'm right, but I am not very good. No problem. I give you a few tips. Excellent. Just the phrase, a lot of fun. A mm -hmm. lot of fun. Um, cuando la T está en medio de vocales, como en este caso, se convierte como en una R, ¿verdad? Pero se pronuncia más suave que la R en español. So it's a lot of, a lot of fun. That sounds like a lot of fun. That is the pronunciation of that phrase. Thank you so much, Abigail and Ana. You did a great job in this conversation. I need another two volunteers, please. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Anybody wants? Then I'm going to pick for tonight. Let's see. Aida and Kevin, can you tell me, please? Okay. Kevin? Hello, hello. Okay, so Kevin, you are going to be K, and Aida, you are going to root spot. Can you please start? Yes. Aida, usted comienza. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, tenía mute. You're in great shape, Kate. Thanks. I guess I am a real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That's so like a lot of 
of the phone. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Oh, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem. I will give you a few tips. Excellent. Thank you so much for your participation. You did a great job in this part. Thank you, Kevin and Aida. So let's move on to the next activity. No question about this. So in this conversation, we can practice how often do you and also how well do you, right? The, the question that we are studying for tonight, they are four, right? How often do you, how long do you, how well do you, and how good are you? I'm a re- So we have them here, right? How often, how long, how well, and how good? How often do you study English? How long do you spend at work? How well do you speak English? How good are you at speaking English? So let's see, let's start with the first one. How often do you study English? Anyone until to answer the question? Thank you, Maria Magdalena. How often do you study English? Um, I usually study English um, every day uh, at night. Okay, very good. So I usually study English. Oh, I every study day English every day at night. Oh, okay. Thanks. Okay. Thank you so much. And let me see, Abigail Ortiz, how long do you spend at work? Then a period of time. ¿Cuántas horas trabaja? How long do you spend at work? A or every day. Eight hours every day, okay. Eight hours every day, thank you. And Ana Gabriela Barrera, how well do you speak English? Not so good. Uh, not so good. Let's see the option to answer this. Uh, pretty well, about average, and not very not, well. Not very well. Ah, yes, you speak um, very good, so you are doing great. That's great. I'm a re and the last one, how good are you at speaking English? Anyone here to answer this? How good are you at speaking English? Then you say, pretty good. Okay, not so good. Not so good, <laughs> ah, that is That is not true. You speak very well, right? Very good. Okay, uh, then let's practice, let's practice. We have here the phrases, every day, twice a week, not very often, 30 minutes a day, about an hour on weekends, uh, pretty well, about average, not very well, really good, okay, and not so good. So how good are you at volleyball? Let's see, Joanna Maria, how good are you at volleyball? Not so good. Not so good. Okay, excellent answer. Let's see the next question. How long do you spend online? Surfing the internet. How long do you spend online? And let's choose um, Flor Ramos. How long do you spend online? Every day. Um... Two hours a week. Two hours a week. Dos horas por semana. Okay, two hours a week. That is great. Any answer? Thank you. Uh, how often do you play cards? Ana Gabriela, how often do you play cards? Not very often. Not very often. Okay, that is great. Maria Magdalena, how often do you play cards? I never play cards. Okay, nice. Let's see any other volunteer to answer this question. Um, the next one, let's see the next one. How well can you swim? Con estas tormentas hay que aprender a nadar, porque no es ser peligroso. Se muere en un charquito. 
por no saber nadar. So let's learn to swim. How well can you swim? Then you say pretty well, about average, not very well. Any volunteer to answer this question? How well can you swim? Well, everybody is going to answer. Let's start with Kevin. How well can you swim, Kevin? Uh, I am pretty well. Pretty well, okay, nice. Aida Marisol, how well can you swim? Um, twice a week. How often twice a week? Mm, twice a week? Um, that is not a good answer for this question. How well can you swim? Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. I will. Pretty well. Pretty well. Okay. Pretty well. Pretty well. Pretty okay. Well. Excellent. Yes, pretty well. Okay. Yes, muy buena nadando. And yes. This is Flor Ramos, how well can you swim? Mm -hmm. Not so well. Okay. No very well. No mm. very well. Ah, okay. Not very well. Not very well. Okay. Abigail Ortiz, how well can you swim? I never swim. You never swim? Ah, okay. Just be careful when you go to the beach or the swimming pool, right? And Ana Gabriela, how well can you swim? About average. About average, okay. No puedo, pero no me ahogo, dice Ana. Okay, that's great. That is nice. And Joana Maria, how well can you swim? Not very well. Not very well. Um, Ana Gabriela, how well can you swim? Uh, about average. About average, okay. You are going to help Abigail, right? Le ayuda Abigail a salir de la piscina, please. Let's see the next one. How well can you type? Mm, that is interesting. How well can you type? Que también puede digitar en la computadora. How well can you type? Easy teacher, right? Like 40 words per minute. Ya han intentado, ya saben cuántas palabras por minuto pueden digitar. No, really? I guess like 40, 50. Ok. Por ahí ando. 80. 80 words per minute, 80 por minuto. 86. 86. Oh, that is very fast, right? You are very well. You are pretty well. Very well. Okay, talking about duration, right? So how long do you spend shopping? Cuando se va de compras, cuántas horas se tarda? How long do you spend shopping? Me amo. Just let me see who. Abigail, how long do you spend shopping? <laughs> Five. Five, Five hours. hours. Five hours. <laughs> okay. Maria Magdalena, how long do you spend shopping? Uh, all day. The whole day? When okay. I have time. Oh, when you have time, the whole day. Okay. So why for women is difficult to choose? ¿Por qué es difícil escoger para las mujeres? Uh, there is many things for women. Ah, because there are many styles, many colors, right? And you find different things and you say, ah, oh, this is good and this is good too. I don't know why to buy. No sé cuál comprar. Okay, that is great. So five hours, the whole day. Let's see, Joana Maria, how long do you spend shopping? Four hours. Four hours. Okay, veamos la contraparte. Kevin, how long do you spend shopping, Kevin? Uh, two or three hours. Two or three hours. Okay, nice. Creí que iba a decir 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> how long is this lesson? 
how long is this lesson or how long is this class? Two hours. Two hours? Uh -uh. How long is this class? ¿Cuánto dura esta clase? Oh, this one. One, one hour. One hour? Yeah. Well, you can say 60 minutes, right? How long is this class? 60 minutes. One hour. Great answer. Thank you. How long do you spend reading? How long do you spend reading? Do you like to read? Do you like to read books? And Maria say yes, right? And how long do you spend reading? Do you still read the newspaper? Todavía leen el periódico? Not really. No, teacher, I read Twitter. I read Facebook. Facebook. Was... <laughs> okay. So how long do you spend reading a book? Every day. Anyone into you? Let's see. Let's choose somebody here. Ana Gabriela, how long do you spend reading? Maybe. Uh, 30 minutes. <laughs> oh, 30 minutes. Okay. How long do you spend reading? You say yeah. 30 minutes. Yeah. Okay, uh, Maria Magdalena, how long do you spend reading? Um, if I have time, many hours, maybe two hours. Two but hours reading? I... Okay, yes, that's great. But... but? If I don't have time, maybe 45 minutes or one hour. How can I say minimum? Um, at least, al menos, at least 30 minutes. Yes, at least 30, yes. Okay, excellent, very good. How long do you sleep? How long do you sleep? ¿Cuánto tiempo le queda para dormir? Three hours, teacher, two hours, teacher. I'm sleepy. So how long do you sleep? Six, six hours. Six hours. Ah, that is still okay, right? Six hours. Se repone ahí. Medio con sueño, pero allá. Eh, less than six hours. ¿Quién duerme menos de seis horas? Nobody? Hi. Ah, you say Three. me? Three hours, really? Oh, my God. Yeah. Okay. Yo anduviera en estado zombie. Yeah. Just sleep three hours. <laughs> that is too late. Esco zombie. <laughs> and then how long do you spend at work? We have already discussed this question for eight hours. And does anybody work more than eight hours a day? ¿Trabaja alguien más de ocho horas en el día? In this class? Sure. You? Sure. I do work. Yeah, I do work nine hours plus the lunch time. Okay, nine hours plus the lunch time, so 10 hours out of home. Okay. Well, a veces toca, right? Anyone can do anything. So let's see, talking about performance, how well do you cook? How well do you cook? Kevin, how well do you cook? Uh, um maybe in pretty good and not so good oh you say pretty well about average and not very well those are the options so how oh, well do you cook um, so about average about average okay el próximo sábado vamos a comer pupusa donde Kevin he can cook pupusas Okay, that is great. So let's go with Maria Magdalena. How well do you cook? Not very well. Oh, really? Not very well? No importa, nos sacrificamos. We are going to taste your, your food, right? Abigail, how well do you cook, Abigail? Not very well. <laughs> Not very well, really? I can see that you don't like to cook. Uh, Ana Gabriela, how well do you cook? 
Uh, about Aberberg. Ah, that is excellent. And Maria Martinez, are you able to speak? Um, I guess no, right? And then Joanna Maria, how well do you cook? About uh, average, about average, average. Okay, great. The next question: How good are you at climbing trees? Se acuerda todavía cómo subirse a los palos? How well, how good are you at climbing trees? Then you say very good, pretty good, okay, not so good. No bad. Flor Ramos, how good are you at climbing trees? Not so good. Ah, okay, thank you. No podemos cortar mangos, ¿verdad? I'm not so good, right, too. And Ana Gabriela, how good are you at climbing trees? Not so good. Not so good, okay. Let's see, how well do you sing? Look at this other question, how well do you sing? Let's go with Maria Magdalena. How well do you sing? Very well, but I try okay. every day. Okay, that is excellent, right? Remember, practice may um, perfection, right? So, Abigail, how well do you sing? Uh, she must be busy at this moment. How good do you dance? Kevin, how good do you dance? Uh, I, I am I am okay. Okay, that is good. Alfredo, how good do you dance? Do you still have problems with your microphone? No, at all. Thank you. Uh, um, I am good at dancing. Okay, because I'm pretty good at dancing. That's great. Uh, how well do you run? ¿Los alcanza el perrito del vecino o no los alcanza? How well do you run? ¿Alcanza el bus o lo deja el bus? How well do you run? Aida Martinez, how well do you run? Teacher, casi no le escuché porque tenía problemas con la señal. Ok. Sorry. Are you walking? ¿Va caminando, Aida? Yes. Ah, I walk. Very... Ok, she's pretty well at running. Va corriendo a hacer la cena. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, let's see the next one. Uh, veamos. Let's choose a Flor Ramos. Puede preguntarle a Ana Gabriela las primeras tres, the first three questions. Let's practice question and answers. ¿A quién? Uh, Ana Gabriel. How, Ana Gabriel. Ah, Gabriela. Barrera fue. Sí. Yes. All right. How often do you play soccer? So I three three times one once a week. Excellent. Once a week. Next question, Flor. How low uh, do you play soccer? Two. Two hours. How well do you play so soccer? Not really well. Thank you so much for your question and answer. Now let's listen Maria Magdalena and Kevin. Kevin, can you please ask the next four question to Maria, please? Okay. How, how often do you ride a bike? I never ride a bike. How long do you ride a bike? Okay. Uh, this interview died in the first question. 
esta entrevista murió en la primera pregunta, ¿verdad? porque nunca se anda en bicicleta. Entonces, let's come back to the play soccer, ¿ok? Kevin, las primeras tres, please. Ok, ok. Uh, how often do you play soccer? I never play soccer. What? Sorry. But it can be possible. <laughs> I play basketball. Okay, I play basketball. Okay, then let's uh, let's try with basketball. Again, can you please? How often do you play basketball? Okay, so how long do you play basketball? On weekends. On weekends, uh, how long on weekends? ¿Cuántas horas el fin de semana o cuánto tiempo? Mm, maybe two hours. Okay, two hours on weekends. Very good. Wow. Last question, Kevin. Okay, how well do you play basketball? Pretty well. Pretty well, okay, that is great. ¿Cuántas canastas por partido? How many baskets for match? Maybe the, the group. Um, at least 20, maybe. Ah, okay, that is great. That is excellent. So now let's listen Aida and let me see. I'm gonna choose Joanna Maria and Aida. The first three questions, please. Joanna asks the question and Aida answers. Are you ready to start? How often do you play soccer? Uh, never play soccer. I never play soccer, okay? Never play soccer. Okay, nice. Hasta ahí llegó la entrevista. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's go with this reading activity, health and fitness quiz. Let me ask you this question. How many meals do you eat each day? Four, five, three meals, one or two meals. Let's see, Alfredo, how many meals do you eat each day? Five, I can say five. Five, okay. Second question, how often do you eat at regular times during the day? Say almost always, usually, hardly ever. How often do you eat at a regular times? It means a la misma hora, todos los días, during the day. Joanna Maria, how often do you eat at regular times during the day? Almost always. Almost always, that's nice. Let's see question seven, which best describe your exercise program? Both weight training and aerobic exercise, either weight training or aerobic exercise. Or none. Maria Magdalena, which best describe your exercise program? None. None, okay. And how important is your fitness program to you? Alfredo. I'm sorry, can you repeat the question? How important is your fitness program to you? Uh, very important. Very important. Okay, that is great. So do you like to do exercise? So you are going to find this, write this question, have a fitness quiz on the platform. So you are going to discover, right, if you care about your health and fitness or you don't. Right? Um, do you think that you are healthy? Do you think that you are living a healthy life? Yes or not? I'm saying, yes, I do exercise. I eat well. Are you worried about uh, doing exercise, walking and running, playing a sport? Y yes or not? ¿Les gustan los ejercicios? ¿Hacer ejercicio? ¿Ir al gym? ¿Salir a caminar? ¿Do you like those kind of activities? Veamos a Aida Martínez. ¿Do you like sports? Yes, I like. 
Ah, okay, that is that is nice, right? So we must care about health and fitness, right? And you are going to take this quiz on the platform. Do you have any question about the four questions that we studied tonight? We study how often do you, how well do you, how good are you, and what was the other one? Can you please remember? ¿Cuál era la otra pregunta? What was the other question? How often do you? Okay, how long do you, right? How often do you? How long do you? How well do you? And how good are you? Those were the questions for tonight. Do you have any questions about this topic? No questions? No. No, okay, that is great. See if everything is clear. Don't forget to complete the exercise on the platform. Thank you for your attention. Thank you so much for your participation. And see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye. Thank you, T-shirt. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow at 8 o'clock p.m.